Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and information about the board games you might want to have in your collection. So how do you feel about travelling through space, discovering new solar systems and new planets, gaining knowledge, meeting alien races? Well if so, here's five things I think you're really going to love about Horizons. Thing one, what's this game all about? Horizon sets you up as a unique alien race who's exploring new planets, terraforming them, building upon them and encountering alien races. The game as a whole really sets itself up as a space exploration and colonisation type of game. Now to win the game you need to gather knowledge points, um, you can also control planets, there are also victory points available from the goods you have at the end of the game and from mission cards you've completed throughout the game. On a whole this game seems to really echo other titles such as maybe Gaia Project or even Twilight Imperium but definitely on a smaller scale but putting itself alongside those big games really sets itself up with a kind of impression um, that you really feel from the cover of the box. We're expecting a space opera. Thing two, so how does this game work? Or as we call it, mechanics. Horizons basically focuses on area control um, with action point selection and a little bit of resource management thrown in. At the start of the game, you'll begin with your own planet, your own sun, kind of in your own little solar system. And through using your actions, you can add additional planets to your system. You'll need to terraform particular planets so that you can build on them in the first place. Um, and also you're gonna wanna build buildings and structures so that you can control particular planets because controlling planets is big business. And the person who has the most structures on a planet wins the victory points. Now the interesting thing is you can build three different types of buildings so you can collect money for solar collectors, you can collect metal with kind of mines and then there are colonies and when you build all of your colonies the game ends. You can also acquire alien cards to give you boost during the game and mission cards to kind of steer you in particular scoring directions. The mechanics in this game do run together smoothly but they often feel kind of short-sighted or not particularly long term. Sure, I'm getting a good to buy something else to get another good, but it never really feels like you're building up to something exciting. Thing the third, what's this game like on the table? Well, it's a pretty much no-nonsense, straightforward setup, and the rulebook for this game is exceptionally good. It takes about 30 minutes for two of us to play, and that is with the two-player only variant. Um, and despite it being a space game, it's not actually a table hog. You don't actually need a lot of space to play this. Um, replayability wise, most of that comes from the mission cards, which I wish there was more of in the game, and from the alien cards themselves, which are static cards every time you play. Um, for other aspects of kind of adding more to your game, you can also play with the advanced mode, which are races that are on the back of your player ports that each have their own variable player power. Thing four, how does this game look and feel? I have to say I really enjoyed the artwork that's on the box and on the majority of the cards. It's very cool, kind of Ainshi's inspired. I really like the color choices. However, that doesn't seem to have extended to the player boards where the artwork there is really two dimensional and flat. I, I wouldn't even have known it was the same artist who did both pieces, they're that different. Um, when you set up the game, it's definitely a little bit un underwhelming. Space games are normally, you know, quite impressive on the table. And it didn't get any better with the more planets you put out, sadly. Just a little uninspired. Um, however, the components in this game are pretty exceptional. You get a beautiful insert in the box, some lovely wooden pieces, and some really nice card quality. On a whole, this game got me so excited from the cover, um, and then it didn't really live up to its own hype. Thing five. Is this game any good? Horizons is the type of game that I normally fall in love with. Um, I absolutely love games with variable player powers. I like exploration, I like space. Hell, it even looked like Terra Mystica when I set it up. Um, but the problem I have here is that I wanted this game to succeed so much more than it actually did. Um, one of my main issues is with the mission cards um, and the different scores that are available for completing them. There are certain ones that are just very hard to complete that are worth very few points. Some of the easier ones to complete are worth far more. It just doesn't feel very balanced. My second issue is that despite the fact that the gameplay here is incredibly smooth, 
it's just very unexciting. Um, nothing I did in the game kind of made me go, yes, you know, I, I, I did it or got, I, I never really got invested in what I was doing. Rather, you're just more going through the motions. Now, be all that as it may, this game does something incredibly well and it's what it seems to suggest it wants to do from the outset, which this is a quick and easily accessible space opera. Like it is very much it done and it feels like a smaller version of, you know, like I said earlier, Gaia Project or Twilight Imperium. But the nice thing here is that this is quick to play, it's quick to set up, it's easy to teach and really anybody could play it. And I think as long as you're not looking for more than that from this game, you won't be disappointed. Do I think you should have Horizons in your collection? This is actually a really tough one because it feels like a much bigger game than it is and it can't help but get itself compared to those big games. But that shouldn't take away from what it actually achieves here, which is a, a quick, easy and fun introduction to space operas. And if that's the kind of thing you're after and you don't want to spend 12 hours on a Saturday with your friends playing a huge space game, then this is a really nice place to start. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. For more authentic board game reviews, why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about the latest video reviews. Or if you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about Horizons, why not get in touch with me and leave a comment in the box below. I'd really, really like to hear from you. I say that every time, but I totally mean it. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, perusing my collection. Take care, everybody.